like God, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, Psalm 91 verse 11. Greetings, celestial seekers. I hope you're ready to explore one of the most fascinating and powerful figures in the heavenly realms today. Together, we'll dive into the mysteries of the Archangel Metatron, a being so close to God that his role challenges everything we think we know about celestial order and divine purpose. Metatron's name may not be as familiar as Gabriel or Michael, but his power and significance surpass almost all others. His name stands out, he doesn't have the suffix L that most angels carry. And this difference isn't by chance. Metatron's unique name hints at a unique role, as the Prince of the Seraphim, the highest of all the angels, he possesses three pairs of wings, a clear symbol of his unmatched rank in the celestial hierarchy. Metatron isn't just another angel, he is God's right hand, his trusted messenger and intermediary. Unlike any other angel, Metatron is allowed to stand in the presence of God, a position that no other angelic being shares. This profound closeness to the Creator immediately tells us one thing, Metatron plays a role in divine affairs that goes beyond our understanding of angelic duties. So, what makes Metatron so unique? And why is he given such immense responsibility? What secrets does his story hold that we haven't uncovered yet? Let's continue exploring his fascinating history together. A mortal transformed. In many traditions, angels are believed to have always existed as celestial beings. But Metatron is different. He wasn't always an angel. In fact, it is said that he was once a human, a man named Enoch, before he was transformed into the powerful archangel we know today. In the Bible, we find the story of Enoch in the book of Genesis. It tells us, Enoch walked with God, then he was no more, because God took him Genesis 5 verse 24. This simple yet mysterious verse has sparked many questions over the years. What does it mean to walk with God? And what exactly does it mean that God took him? Unlike most people, Enoch did not experience death in the usual sense. Instead, he was taken directly to heaven by God. According to ancient Jewish mysticism, particularly the Book of Enoch, this taking wasn't just a removal from earth but a transformation. Enoch was transformed into Metatron, the most powerful of all angels, given a special place beside God himself. He became the only human ever to be elevated to such a high position in the heavenly hierarchy. This transformation from man to angel is extraordinary and raises many intriguing ideas. Why was Enoch chosen for this unique honor? It is believed that Enoch lived such a righteous life, completely devoted to God, that he was given this incredible reward. His transformation into Metatron represents the ultimate spiritual elevation, a mortal rising to become an eternal, divine being. Metatron's story is also a powerful reminder for us. It suggests that spiritual growth and divine connection are possible for everyone, not just angels. If Enoch, a human like us, could reach such a divine status, what might that mean for our own spiritual journeys? Could we, too, strive to walk with God in such a way that we are transformed? Metatron's story of transformation opens up deep questions. Was Enoch chosen for a reason beyond his righteousness? Could his transformation be a symbol of humanity's potential to connect with the divine? What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments, and let's discuss this fascinating idea together. The Celestial Scribe Metatron's role in the heavens goes far beyond being just an angel who stands close to God. One of his most important tasks is that of the Celestial Scribe. This means Metatron is responsible for recording everything that happens in the universe, especially the actions of humanity. In Jewish tradition, it is believed that Metatron keeps a detailed account of every person's deeds, both good and bad. This role is crucial in the divine order because it ensures that nothing is overlooked when it comes to judgment. Imagine Metatron as the ultimate record keeper. Every thought, every action, every choice we make is noted by him. He watches over humanity, documenting our lives, our decisions, and the paths we choose to take. This task doesn't just involve observation, it's about ensuring justice. When the time comes for judgment, Metatron's records will provide a complete picture of a person's life. In many ways, he ensures that everyone is judged fairly, based on their actions. This idea leads to some interesting questions. If everything we do is being recorded, does that change the way we live? Knowing that Metatron, the most powerful angel, is keeping track of our deeds, how does that influence our choices? Does it make us more aware of our actions? Or do we trust that divine justice will understand the complexities of our lives? Another aspect of Metatron's role as the scribe is his connection to the concept of divine mercy and judgment. While he records everything, it is ultimately up to God to decide how to use this information. Some traditions suggest that Metatron can act as an advocate for humanity, presenting the records in a way that emphasizes our potential for goodness and redemption. Metatron's role as a scribe isn't just about cold, factual record-keeping. 
It's deeply tied to the balance between justice and mercy, between accountability and forgiveness. In his hands, the fate of humanity is written, and in his presence, the weight of every decision is felt. What do you think about Metatron's role as the celestial scribe? Does the idea of someone recording every action change how you view your own life? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and let's explore this together. Metatron in the Talmud and Kabbalah Metatron isn't just a mysterious figure in the heavens, he plays a significant role in both the Talmud and Jewish mystical traditions like Kabbalah. In the Talmud, Metatron is described as the angel of the presence, meaning he is the closest of all celestial beings to God. This is a powerful title, highlighting his unique position and the trust placed in him by the Creator. While other angels serve important roles, none of them stand beside God as Metatron does. His duty isn't just to serve, it's to be an active intermediary between heaven and earth, a role that gives him a special place in the divine order. One particularly fascinating story from the Talmud describes how Metatron was almost mistaken for God himself. According to this story, the great rabbi Elisha ben Abuyah saw Metatron sitting on a throne, something no other angel is ever allowed to do. This sight was so overwhelming that it caused the rabbi to doubt the uniqueness of God, leading him to believe that perhaps there were two powers in heaven. However, Metatron was punished for allowing this confusion, reinforcing the idea that, while Metatron is incredibly powerful, he is still only a servant of God. In Kabbalah, Metatron's role becomes even more profound. He is closely connected with the Tree of Life, which symbolizes the divine structure of the universe and the path to spiritual enlightenment. In Kabbalistic teachings, the Tree of Life is composed of ten spheres, or spherot, which represent different aspects of God's nature. Metatron is said to guard these divine spheres, ensuring that only those who are truly ready can access their spiritual power. His position as the guardian of this sacred knowledge highlights his immense responsibility. He is the protector of divine secrets, and through him, the balance of the universe is maintained. But Metatron's connection to the Tree of Life goes beyond being a mere guardian. Some mystics believe that Metatron can guide individuals on their spiritual journey, helping them navigate the complex path toward understanding the divine. This role as a guide makes Metatron not just an angel of power, but also one of wisdom. He is believed to help those who seek deeper spiritual understanding, providing them with the knowledge they need to move closer to God. Metatron's dual role in both Talmudic tradition and Kabbalah reflects his unique standing. He is not just an angel of the present, but an angel deeply rooted in both the law and the mysticism of the universe. His presence reminds us that the divine order is vast and complex, and Metatron plays a crucial part in keeping that order intact. How do you interpret Metatron's role as both a guardian of divine knowledge and a powerful servant of God? Does his presence in these ancient texts add to his mystery or help us understand him more clearly? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. The Metatron's Cube and Sacred Geometry One of the most fascinating symbols associated with Metatron is the Metatron's Cube. This geometric design is much more than just an abstract figure, it holds deep meaning in sacred geometry, a belief system that sees shapes and patterns as fundamental to the structure of the universe. Metatron's cube consists of 13 interconnected circles, forming a complex pattern that contains within it all the shapes known as the platonic solids, the building blocks of matter in three-dimensional space. These shapes are said to represent the elements of earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, showing that Metatron's cube is not just symbolic but also tied to the very fabric of existence. According to ancient mystical beliefs, Metatron uses this cube to oversee the flow of energy in the universe, ensuring balance and harmony. The cube is thought to represent the structure of the universe, both visible and invisible. Some even believe that this sacred geometry was used in the creation of the world, which is why Metatron, as the archangel closest to God, is associated with it. The cube serves as a reminder that the universe is not chaotic but governed by divine order, and Metatron plays a central role in maintaining that order. But the significance of Metatron's cube goes beyond cosmic balance. Many people believe that the cube holds special protective powers. It is often used in meditative practices, where visualizing or focusing on the cube can help individuals connect to higher spiritual realms. Some say that meditating on the cube helps clear negative energy and protect the soul from harm. It is also seen as a tool for personal transformation, guiding those who seek spiritual enlightenment and deeper understanding of the universe's mysteries. The cube's connection to the platonic solids ties it to both the physical and spiritual worlds. Each shape within the cube is said to represent a different aspect of creation, suggesting that the cube contains the blueprint for everything in existence, from the smallest atom to the largest star. This idea adds to Metatron's role as a guardian of divine knowledge, as the cube is believed to hold the secrets of how the universe was formed and how it functions. 
It's as if Metatron, through this cube, is both a protector and a keeper of the wisdom that governs life itself. For those interested in sacred geometry, Metatron's cube is a powerful symbol of unity, connecting all aspects of life and the universe. It serves as a visual reminder that everything is interconnected, from the physical world we can see and touch to the spiritual dimensions that we can only sense. By focusing on this symbol, people seek to align themselves with the natural order and find peace and balance in their lives. Metatron's association with this sacred geometry raises fascinating questions about the nature of creation and our place within it. Could this ancient symbol really hold the key to understanding how the universe works? And if Metatron's cube is a representation of divine energy, how can we use it to bring more harmony into our lives? These are profound mysteries that invite us to explore the deeper connections between science, spirituality, and the nature of existence. Let's discuss your thoughts and interpretations in the comments. Metatron's role in the end times. Metatron's influence doesn't just extend to the present or past, it reaches into the future, particularly concerning the end times, the final moments of human history, when all souls will face judgment. According to various religious and mystical texts, Metatron will play a crucial role during this time, ensuring that the divine order is followed and justice is served. As the celestial scribe, Metatron is responsible for recording all the deeds of humanity. Throughout history, every action, every thought, and every decision made by individuals has been meticulously noted by him. These records are said to be used during the final judgment, when every soul will stand before God to account for their lives. This makes Metatron not just an observer but an essential figure in ensuring that judgment is fair and based on the full truth of each person's life. During the end times, Metatron is often depicted as standing at God's side, presenting these records. In some traditions, he is seen as an advocate for humanity, highlighting the good deeds we have done and appealing for mercy on our behalf. This dual role as both scribe and advocate gives Metatron a unique position. He isn't just writing down events, he's also invested in how those events are interpreted during judgment. In some accounts, he pleads for forgiveness, emphasizing the potential for redemption, even for those who have strayed. Metatron's involvement in the end times is also tied to the idea of the Book of Life, a concept found in many religious traditions. This book contains the names of the righteous, those who have lived their lives in accordance with divine principles. It is believed that Metatron has a role in maintaining and safeguarding this sacred book. When the time for judgment arrives, the Book of Life will be opened, and those whose names are written in it will be granted eternal life. Metatron's duty to protect and update this book makes him a key figure in determining who will be saved. But Metatron's role goes even further. Some texts suggest that he will act as a guide for the righteous, leading them to their final destination in the afterlife. This imagery presents Metatron as not only a judge and record keeper but also as a shepherd, helping souls transition from earthly life to their eternal resting place. For the righteous, Metatron is seen as a comforting presence, a celestial figure who ensures that they are safely delivered to their reward. On the other hand, for those who have lived unjustly, Metatron's records can be a source of great fear. His detailed account of every action ensures that no sin is forgotten. In this sense, Metatron embodies both justice and mercy, balancing the scales between what is deserved and what can be forgiven. His role in the end times reflects this delicate balance, reminding us that while divine judgment is inevitable, so is the opportunity for redemption. The idea that Metatron will be present at the final judgment raises many questions. How does his role as a scribe influence the way we live our lives? If every action is recorded, does that mean we should always be striving to do good, knowing that it will be taken into account? And how do we interpret the idea of divine justice in a world where human lives are so complex and full of both virtue and error? Metatron's presence in the end times reminds us of the vastness of the divine plan. He is not just an angel who watches over us in our daily lives but also one who will stand by our side when the final judgment comes. His dual role as both a recorder of deeds and an advocate for mercy offers hope and accountability. It encourages us to live with purpose, knowing that our actions matter and that, in the end, there is always the possibility of forgiveness and grace. What are your thoughts on Metatron's role in the end times? Do you see him as a figure of fear or hope? Let me know your reflections in the comments, and let's continue this discussion together.